Okay guys, now uh, what you have to do to start the process before you use the frog lube is to degrease the metal parts of the firearm that's going to be treated. So as always guys, I have to say this because uh, some of the guys that are newer to firearms or are newer into guns so that they remember, always make sure that the gun is unloaded, no magazine and gun, chamber is empty. So what I'm going to do is just field strip the gun. get it broken down just to the field strip that's all you need to do that's all I'm going to do is just field strip it down what I'm going to use to degrease is the uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol uh, that's what I have on hand right now and I'm just going to use that for now I, I will later be using simple green when I get into a lot more of my firearms and rifles and things but for right now I'm just going to take a microfiber cloth and I'm going to start the process of degreasing anything and definitely you want to get all the petroleum based products off of the firearm and as you can see there's a lot of dirt and different things that's going to come out and that's fine you want as much as that to come out as possible and you're going to get more when you use the frog lube uh, CLP on the gun but basically you want to go through through here and get all this out I'm also going to take q-tips and go into the slide rails now Guys, I'm going to edit this video and start and stop and come back in intervals because this is too long and boring of a process for you to just sit there and watch every single thing I do here. So, as you can see here, I'm just taking the rubbing alcohol and I'm going to go over all the metal parts and then I'll turn the camera back on and I'll let you know about the next step that I'm going to go to. Okay guys, I have the slide and the barrel completely degreased. You can tell by the steel uh, when the steel is bare like this. And actually this icy propyl rubbing alcohol did an excellent job of st stripping all the dirt out. I mean it did great but now I'm just sitting with bare steel and you don't want that. So uh, what I'm going to do first of all is before I start using this heat gun here is I'm going to get items like this polymer frame out of the way for now. Uh, I don't want the heat to hit that because I'm going to have to I'll move things out of the way. Like I said, Q-tips for all the corners and the rails and things. This worked excellent to strip out all the dirt. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this heat gun, and you can see it's smoking. I've already tested it. And I'm going to put it on the low setting. Now, guys, this thing, if you want to get one of these on eBay for like 20 bucks, that's cool. But uh, be careful. Watch how watch how far you hold it and uh, keep your eye on the gun. I'm going to focus on the inside of the slide and you basically want this slide to be to the point to where you can barely touch it. Okay? And that's what I'm going to do with it here. I'm heating it up with this heat gun. Okay guys, I got uh, the slide and barrel heated up with the heat gun, so I'm going to go ahead and take the paste here, and I'm going to start in the uh, inside of the slide here with the frog lube on this brush. Guys, this is my first time doing this, so um, it's definitely not as easy. It's melting on contact, but it's not as easy to do with this brush versus that little uh, paint brush looking thing. And, uh, it's late at night. If I'd have known this earlier, uh, I could have uh, picked one up. Ouch, this slide's hot. Be careful, guys, if you use a heat gun, I'm telling you. Because it ain't... Uh, it doesn't take too long to get this thing heated up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with a heat gun. So It's melting like butter. As it contacts the surfaces, uh, I want to get it in the rails really good and just you know that's kind of nice it's turning into a liquid like that uh, smell is really good and I'm going liberal with it um, you know you don't have to you don't have to cake it on but um, too much doesn't hurt because you're going to wipe off the excess 
of it, and it's pulling more dirt off. So this stuff is actually really good as a cleaner because I got all the dirt off that I could, that I thought I could possibly get uh, when I when I cleaned this firearm. So it is getting more dirt off. I just want a lot to be in the rails here, and I will wipe off the excess amount later. So now I'm going to go ahead and I've got that coated really good in there. And you know what? Let me go one more time. Let me go one more time in these rails. Yeah, if your gun doesn't degrease perfectly, uh, guys, from what I'm told, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the frog lube eats the petroleum-based product. But the best case scenario that the manufacturer suggests of frog lube is to degrease the gun. Okay, well that's enough for that. Now I'm going to take it to the outside of the slide. I just want to do this before things start cooling off here. Awesome. I mean, it really just seems to me like it's putting an excellent protectant on the gun. It just, you know, because you're, you know, I guess the thing is, is having the gun fully covered, knowing that your gun's fully covered with a product like this as it melts on, and I hope you can see this on camera, um, knowing that you got every single spot that you could get on the gun. That's what makes me happy. And then you come back uh, 30 minutes to a half hour, or half hour to 30 minutes, they say, and I'm going to go ahead and wait the hour. And then you simply just wipe off all the extra that's on there. So if you do put any extra on that you don't need, um, all you're doing is wasting the product because you're going to wipe it right back off with a rag. So... And what's nice is I can see every spot I do because this stuff turns the slide a glossy black. So when you degrease the gun uh, and then you touch this to it, you can see if you missed any little spot. So that's done. Now for the barrel, which isn't as hot as I'd like it to be. I'm going to hit it just a couple seconds here. Uh, it's okay to heat this stuff up, guys, because when you shoot, it produces a tremendous amount of heat. But be careful if you're using a heat gun. But they say for the best performance, you want to heat this stuff up. It's feeling warm now. Yeah, yeah, that's one hot barrel. That's one hot barrel, buddy. So now I'm going to go back over this with the frog lube again. And uh, it's so nice that it melts like that. Get in between your lugs here. You can go ahead and place a small amount on the feed ramp. It ain't going to hurt nothing. You're going to wipe that all off. Yeah, now that's one good coated barrel right there, guys. If you can see that. I know I probably went a little bit too liberal with this stuff, but I don't mind. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, whew, this thing's hot. <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of drops of this, uh, the liquid down the barrel and let it work. And then I'll go through and clean the barrel while this is still warm. Now it might help if I took off the seal. Whoa, man, that stuff comes out quick. Whew. Okay, um... I am going to take a patch through the barrel, so I'll get back with you here in a sec. Okay, guys, now what I'm going to do is go through the barrel. Uh, i got a patch here. I threaded through this, and I'm going to use the liquid frog lube and go through the barrel. Now, one thing definitely to make a note of, guys, um, the smell, <laughs> the, 
that you can barely smell off of this is nothing. You could do this easily in home with your pets, your children, your wife. You're not going to have a problem uh, with this at all. It has a minty smell and uh, I'm, I'm really bad with chemical smells. It gives me a headache right away and this is perfectly fine. I've had no issue at all with this stuff. So. put a drop or two onto that patch and go down one more time. I'm going to be careful with this stuff because it does come out quick. Okay. So... Try to get your patch in there as tight as you can. And uh, I'll also go back through the inside of the barrel and get the excess out as well. Okay, guys, so those are the main parts I'm going to do. I'm going to do a couple of parts on the frame as well. Um, just a couple of these metal parts, and I'm not going to use... I'm not going to go with heat on these. I'm just going to degrease the metal parts, and I'm just going to put it on. And uh, when I fire the gun, it'll create enough heat to make it work, but with it being in the slide rails like it is, that's going to be enough for this. So, as for right now, I'm going to leave these parts sit for an hour until they're ready to wipe off the excess, and then I'll turn the camera back on, and you guys can watch me get off all the excess frog lube, and I'll let you know how it feels when I put it together. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's been a little over an hour, and everything's ready to be wiped down. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the slide here. And what I'm going to do is just wipe off all this excess. Now, let me explain a little bit about frog lube, a little bit more to you guys in case you don't know. Uh, frog lube is used in place of oil. I will not need to put oil anywhere on this gun, not in the rails, uh, not anywhere on the firearm. Uh, the gun will basically look and feel dry. And then when you shoot the gun, uh, as the metal parts heat up where there's friction, it causes the frog lube to release from the steel. Uh, heating up this gun opened up the pores in the steel and allowed the frog lube to get into the porous metal. Okay, So whatever gets hot and wherever there's friction will release frog lube as you shoot. Uh, so a couple uh, other good effects of that is that uh, since nothing's wet but where the heat and friction is, this gun is going to hold a lot less residue, so it's going to be easier to clean after you go to the range. Uh, it's not going to hold as much fouling. Oil in here, when you shoot, oil gets all over the place. Even if you just put it in the rails, it gets all over because it's, you know, such a, um, you know, like a watery liquid. Won't happen with frog lube. Uh, frog lube is supposed to be easier to clean your gun, too, after it's been treated. The dirt is supposed to uh, come off easier after you've been at the range. Um, I love, I just from watching videos and now looking at this, I love how the uh, slides look after they've been treated and wiped down with the frog lube. They just have a, to me, they have a really nice look to them. So you're just going to wipe off everything you can get off because the frog lube is in the steel. You don't want a bunch of it hanging on uh, in the gun. Don't forget to get your breech face in there. And I'm getting some dirt off this again. That's how good of a cleaner that the frog lube is. I'm actually pulling uh, more dirt off just by wiping this down. So, yeah. I don't know guys, as far as the looks and the feel of it, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Of course, um, the most important thing, as you all know, is going to be actually firing 
the gun with the frog lube in there. Now the barrel, which I've thoroughly treated with the frog lube, I'm going to wipe that down. I also did the recoil spring and guide rod. You don't have to, but I went ahead and did it anyway because it is a steel guide rod. It's not a polymer one like that's in the Glocks. So, uh, I mean, it just feels to me like the gun is like the metal's fully protected, and this is going to protect against rust and corrosion. And that's very important to me, uh, especially for the guns that I have in storage. So that's a big benefit of this frog lube to me. Is See, it has, man, it has a really smooth, silky feel uh, to the parts that were treated. Different from, I'd have to say, anything that I've used before. That's awesome. You know, if it, if it works after shooting as well as they say it does, uh, I'll be pretty happy with this stuff. So I just, I went ahead and went over the uh, guide rod here, like I said, in spring. It doesn't hurt. You can even do things like I'm going to do my multi-tools, like my SOG, uh, power assist. I'm going to do that uh, with the frog lube. Um, there's no reason why you can't uh, use it on things like that and protect it from corrosion. And uh, you can put this lube in where the, uh, you know, where the uh, pliers move, and it'll help it. Okay, now let's get this guy back together. Well, one thing i got to do here still is, I almost forgot, um, is wipe the excess off of the frame here that I used. I really didn't heat, I didn't heat up anything on this polymer, guys. I... I just really don't want to mess with a heat gun that powerful and have a compromised polymer in any way. So, it is what it is on these uh, polymer frames. I even did the um, slide release lever there. So. Go ahead and put her back together here. Okay, now, what I want to do here is rack it a few times and go ahead and dry fire it. Okay, so I know I didn't melt anything internally. Man, it has a really, really nice slick feel. Slide feels very smooth. Yeah. Nice. Um, let me wipe this down, and then I'm going to give you a close-up view. I did not put frog lube on the polymer. It does not damage polymer, of course. Man, I love this little gun. This thing's awesome. But I did not, did not frog lube the polymer. Let me zoom in here a little bit, guys, and I'll get you a close-up. All way, of course. Okay, so hopefully this shows up good on camera at this angle. Uh, if you guys want to see me do my AR-15, frog lube and treat that. I would be more than happy to do that to for you on film. Uh, just let me know. So there's the way your slide looks. I really do like like the look it gives to the slide after it's been applied, and knowing that the gun is completely treated and rust and corrosion resisted, or it's resistant to rust and corrosion. Uh, much more so than an oil that can uh, evaporate. Uh, and I have nothing against using your standard oils and things. I just want to try this out.
and see what it can do for me. Okay guys, there it is. If you want to see a video of me doing the frog lube on my AR-15, uh, just leave me a comment below and if I get enough people that say they want to see that, I will uh, go ahead and do a video on that as well. But here it is. Um, I am not affiliated with this company in any way. Um, I'm just using it basically due to friends and other people on YouTube that have used it and had good results. So I just want to try this out and um, we'll have to see after I do some shooting test, see how it holds up and performs. Alright guys, until next time, this is H4T, try not the frog lube, and I am...